Hi, welcome to Gemstone Tarot weekend reading for the 17th and the 18th of July 2021 and we have time for some astrological news. I'm going to really balls this up as well, I can tell you now. So please tell me if I mispronounce this. Moon, north of bright star, spiker in Virgo until midnight. Okay, I don't know what, S-P-I-C-A. And also, waxing half moon. There you go. At 11.11. Dun, dun, dun. Woohoo. Okay interesting stuff. Now we've had some real beasts of readings recently and I'm going to take, boom, the El Goliath and do a couple of shadow cards on it because yeah, poof, it's been, um, it's all been down a kind of a theme of seven of swords hasn't it? What's been going on, what's going on behind the scenes, it's all a little bit, mm, peeking round corners, tell me, tell me, tell me, <laughs> oh cripes, okay, do I need any more than that, I'm not sure that I do, nope, I don't need more than that, the tower, that's the shadow behind it, the burning tree, now when you get the tower cards, very important for me, Often the tower is um, literally a stone built tower like it is in Rider Waite tarot, you know, in the sort of very basic tarot. In the classic tarot, I should say, rather than basic. The tower for me is usually built on dodgy foundations. It's built in um, a process of denial or not wanting to see. Often the universe has hung out the tiny little bits of red flag bunting and said, oi, human have a look at this and you're like mm, I'm too happy I'm too hungry I'm too distracted or you know I just don't need that to see that at the moment I'm gonna just carry on do this have a twix lie down whatever and then the universe keeps hanging out the bunting until it says right then okay if they're not gonna see it we'll bring down the tower so they can't not see it we'll bring down this whole conflab of denial and whatever else, the kind of plaque that has built around something, lightning cracks it, off it comes. There's something underneath what's been going on with the person or institution or whatever it is that there's been this kind of, <laughs> only those of you, it's my squeaky chair, only those of you that watched Harry Enfield will know what I'm doing here. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, there's this been this kind of fight, okay, this fight, this sort of underground fight. It doesn't feel like an open fight. It feels like a mm, passive aggressive type fight. Okay. And it feels like to me, until the lightning hits that and something is actually exposed that the person will continue to not tell you what they should be telling you. Got there eventually, people. It's torrential rain at the moment. Lovely. Okay. Not the cards I was really expecting. Kind of, actually. Right. Overall energy, cool your jets, it's the Knight of Wands in reverse. Yes, Knight of Wands, let's go, having a party, woohoo, everybody follow me, and no, okay, don't. If a person is letting it run away with them in terms of anger, energy, uh, enthusiasm for some, you know, if they're very, very enthusiastic, if they're trying to push forward with something, come on, I'm almost skiing like a slalom. <laughs> I always seem to end up either on a train or skiing. <laughs> I've only skied a couple of times, you can probably tell. This is for you not to join them on that mission, okay? It has the feel of a pyramid selling scheme. It has the zeal of that kind of thing. Two queens in the reading. 
queen of cups, somebody who scries, somebody who sees things in the water with the queen of swords, somebody who tells the truth, sees the truth, needs the truth, won't, won't go with anything else but the truth. I think you need both these queens. I don't even know if they're in competition with each other, which they normally are. Alongside this, you're going to feel, do you remember we've had Tink come up the last couple of days, feeling righteous, feeling fighty, feeling feisty, okay? Mars in Leo might be time to drop that. I don't know why, it just feels like it won't get you any further to the truth and it might rile the situation even more with the Eight of Wands. So the Seven is in reverse, but the Eight of Wands, communication, clear channels says to you there will come a point i don't know how soon there will come a point when the tower will bring down all the camouflage and all the kind of rigging that this person has put up around a situation i guess you could call it gaslighting i mean it's a bit of a emotive word gaslighting you know it means certain things to certain people but whatever it is, it's definitely a sense of, you know, deliberate camouflage. That's what I'm going to call it. Hermit. Singular wisdom. Also lockdown things. It could be something to do with lockdown. Singular wisdom. You are going to need the sense of the hermit, of being that singular hermit style creature. You're going to need to keep your own counsel. You maybe need to keep some things under your hat or under your cloak here. Choose very much your timing. Yeah, I knew that card was going to come up. So underneath the Knight of Wands in reverse, which says do not act on impulse, Five of Swords in reverse. Now the Five of Swords is like a lack of honour a lack of openness somebody goes around the battlefield looking at other people's spoils of war where they have fought and put themselves at great risk and they don't put themselves at great risk but they pick up the swords anyway and say look at me this is me this is i'm the hero this time woohoo they're holding it aloft it's not even theirs to hold aloft it feels like that's in reverse. We move from a more covert, passive aggressive argument into the real stuff being exposed by the universe. And then you need to be clever. You need to have the um, psychic abilities or the intuition of the Queen of Cups together with the self-discipline and communication skills of the Queen of Swords. Perfect combination. Then we have the Two of Cups. This could be the two queens working together. And it is for some of you. For just a few of you, this could be to do with a personal relationship. And therefore, again, you can't really move forward with either a business partnership or a love partnership or any kind of friendship, really. You can't really move forward until someone brings down the house. It's weird, isn't it? It's a weird energy. And then over here we have the three of pentacles in reverse. You're not particularly on the same page. They're not really working with you. I don't also think, five of swords, that they're working fully against you because that would be too exposing. I just feel like they're not working with you. It's more of what they're not doing. They're not supporting you in the way that they should be with the four of cups in reverse there's going to be some emotional shedding about this the tower is emotional shedding you can't keep it intact this can be yeah a situation where uh mutual kind of ignorance or mutual deliberate ignorance i don't know what the word is for this oh what do they call it not covert it's where two people kind of conspire to not see the elephant in the room. It's that mutual not seeing the elephant in the roomness leads to the tower being able to stay up longer than it should. Okay, but it's going to come down. The wisdom of the oracle we get is clean it up. Remember with this one, we always say 
yes there's a clean up job but stick to your side of the street not one of those i want what do i want i want an angel answers card so have the question in your mind should have told you at the beginning but i didn't know at the beginning <laughs> that we were going to do one of these so let's have a look and see that one Yes, and we've been saying this all along. The situation will improve. Okay, it will. The tower is much needed, okay? <coughs> yeah, I took a second one, we risked it. Remain positive. Tower is much needed, you shouldn't, you can't stay under the canopy of denial forever. Even though it's a really quite comfortable place to be, especially if the weather is bad. Okay. Leave me a comment, let me know how it resonates and I'll see you soon. Namaste.